hello hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel and today we are going to learn about how to set up the device query in intune so this feature device query feature is recently launched in the february first week into the intune so we are going to learn in this video first how to set up the device query in intune and then how we can run the query to pull the data from the device so let's get started now here is the agenda device query features so we'll be understanding here what are the features in the device query license and the prerequisite what are the license required and the prerequisites endpoint analytics configuration so to configure the device query we need the endpoint analytics and the start with the device query and then we'll be starting with the device query and then finally we'll be understanding the kql query formats and the operators how we can uh, write the kql query to collect the data from the device query so now here is a device query features device query will help you to collect uh, collect the on demand device information very quickly so if you are running a query from this device so it will give you the on demand information whatever you write in the query based on the query you will get the data so device query runs in the real time and it will provide you the real time data from the device so if you are running any query inside the device query you will get the real time data now when you enter the query on a selected device device query will run in a real time so you will not get the historical data directly that query will run in on the device and it will pull the data for you now the license and the prerequisite microsoft intune advanced analytics should be activated on the tenant so you should activate your intune advanced analytics and then only you can able to uh, set up your um, intune device uh, this device query now you should have the below license to use the device query features so one is intune advanced analytics add-on and the microsoft intune suite so if you don't have this these two license then you are unable to use the device query and the third thing is microsoft intune advanced analytics should be activated now the endpoint analytics configuration how you can configure your endpoint analytics you need to go to the device so the report and under the report you need to go to the uh, the endpoint analytics i will show you how to do do that and now here is a device query how you can set up your the device query you need to go to the device query and then you need to go to the all devices and then search your device and from their property you can run your the query whatever data you need it so here you seen it's under the device we went you search the device name and here is the option the device query and this is the your query input value here you can write your query whatever data you need it and this is your the query result what you will get so let's go to the intune console and we'll see it how we can perform this action okay so i am under the intune console you need to go to first the report and see your the endpoint analytics is configured or not so here is the option called endpoint analytics as i configured it so it won't show anything if if it is not configured then you can click and activate the endpoint features but before that you need to make sure you have the proper license or the subscription if you purchase uh, if you purchase it so to validate your license how you can uh, do that let me go to uh, okay let me go to the admin center and here is the license history what i purchased it your product and what are the subscription you needed to run a device query so here you can see in it say it's an intra because i'm connecting with the intra my intune and this is the license microsoft intune advanced analytics i use the trial and the microsoft intune suite so these two license is a mandatory to run the device query you should have it if you don't have you can go to the purchase services and then you can uh, activate the trial you can go here search the de device license uh, subscription and then you can activate in a trial version so from here you can uh, search the product whichever you want to activate and then you can 
uh, activate with the trial basis like from here you can search and all these licenses are available here so let's go to back to the Intune console I'm here and looks like my the in uh, endpoint analytics is configured well so once we done it then need to go to the devices and under the device just go to the all devices I have just only the one device enrolled yet click on the device property and here under the property you can see in it's a device query so just click on the device query portion and here you can able to uh, write the query and pull the information so like what I need let's run the first query how we can do that this is a BIOS info and just press the tab so this is the table name all these are the table are containing the data so BIOS info is containing manufacture release date serial number and the SM BIOS name BIOS version so if you want to run this you can execute this and you will get the data here okay so here is what we get it the manufacturer we got it serial number SMS BIOS so we got all these things if you want to select just few of the table only uh, enter and pipeline here and use the project command I'm sorry here project so whatever column you need it you can just select this and manufacture release date and you can just run it so you can select the few columns it will not show you the entire data only the selected column will show in the output so that's how you can filter it out even you can use the where condition there are the many operators to write the query uh, use the operators and uh, to filter the data so now here I'm getting only the two columns because I selected the project and the two columns now the similar way you can get it the other information like OS version just remove it and type the OS version and just run this command so you will get the data over here let's run this query and we'll see it what type of data will get it so now what I have here this is a Windows 11 enterprise the OS version the major version is 10 the patch version is this and I'm getting all these information if you want to select the sum of the columns you can filter it from here or you can select it from the project command so that's how you can run the query if you need any information we have very limited data to pull the uh, pull data from this end user device and I also Microsoft will improve something more and we can see in the uh, the data here and here is a one more good thing is the services Windows services even if you want to check the window Windows services in Windows services and here you can filter the data okay so run this query it will take uh, some time because it's a huge data and the data will be populated here and now if you need to filter it out data we have the many things to filter the data in my the coming video I will show you how to write the KQL query and how you can uh, write the KQL and how you can start learning with the KQL query so let's wait until the data will populate it here okay so you can see in the all the data related to the services you get all these data what are the services are running on this device on the particular this Indian lab 2 so these are the service name the service type and the display name and the status so if you need only the some data to present here like the display name so what you can do here go to here type the display name project use the project command project display name comma service name comma status state sorry and if inside you need something more to check only the stop services what you can do you can go to the where command where state equal to and type here the value what you need if you need it the, only the stop services you can go here and just select and now you can run this query 
so you can fetch only the required details where state okay so let me just give it a try again okay let's see and just wait for a second okay so now you can see in it here i got only for the few things display name what i selected service name and the state so all these services value are came here now if you want to filter it out data i think i put it in the wrong place let me put it here and just remove this and just execute now okay so something is goes wrong not sure let me write it again the wear state is equal to and sto double p d stop so usually in the kql double code is accepted but i think here it's not accepted so meanwhile this data is coming now you can see in it's only the stop data is coming and all the stop services are status here so you can check any of services stop status or not that's how you can do it now here is the blocks about uh, from the microsoft about the device query if you want to follow up you can follow this blocks and even i write the my blocks here so you can follow this blocks as well so this is my website for the end user supports.com and here i explain what you need to configure for your uh, device query to activate on your infra so these are the supported property what that what type of data you can pull it from the device all these tables and the sum of the operators i mentioned here uh, for the kql so all these operators will help you to write down the query for uh, the kql query so guys thank you for watching this video see you soon in my next video with the some some of the new interesting topic